when we look at how we began uh, with e EPL, um, they wanted to uh, put forward uh, uh, their um, understanding or their support in relation to the calls to action. So at that time, we began um, this process with a, with a pipe ceremony in understanding that the Creator put each and every one of us here in this world and to ask Him for guidance, to ask Him for support, and ask Him to help us and began in a very uh, spiritual way, a very sacred way, a way that would, I think a lot of the elders would, uh, would support and would uh, encourage. It's important that you, that you engage with the people of the community so the people will know why you're there. And not only that, they want to understand what have you come to ask for. And to be able to uh, encourage uh, others to come forward and, and talk about stories that they wanted to, to be kept or to be told in, in the future. You know, I, over the years I've heard many stories from a lot of people that are not here anymore, that have gone on to the spirit world. But all I can say is that this elder said this to me. But with the di di digital storytelling process, you'll be able to capture not only their image, but the words that they echo. 50 years from now, 60 years from now, maybe even, even longer, their grandchildren will be able to stand there and listen. And if we're gonna engage in any form of reconciliation, storytelling is, is one of the greatest tools that we have because it's the heart, the mind, and the spirit that are going to remind us of the story. And that's important.